The best man. The best man? What do you think? Maybe not a garotta. Gavin? Who? Gavin Lestrade. He's a man and good at it. It's Greg. And he's not my best friend. Oh, Mike Stanford, I see. Well, he's nice. Um, I'm not sure how well he cope with... Women. No, Mike's great, but he's not my best friend. Look, Sherlock, this is the biggest and most important day of my life. No, it is. It is. And I want to be up there with the two people that I love and care about most in the world. Yes. So Mary Morstan. Yes. And... You. I'm your... Best man. Friend. Yeah, of course you are. Of course. You're my best friend. Sherlock, you okay? I, I, I can't come down, so we'll, we'll just have to do it like this. What's going on? An apology. It's all true. What? Everything they said about me. Don't move. You're right. Keep your eyes fixed on me. Please, will you do this for me? Do what? This phone call, it's, um... It's my note. It's what people do, don't they? Leave a note. Leave a note when? Goodbye, John. No. Don't... Asshole that anyone could possibly have the misfortune to meet. I am dismissive of the virtuous, unaware of the beautiful, and uncomprehending in the face of the happy. So if I didn't understand I was being asked to be best man, it is because I never expected to be anybody's best friend. And certainly not the best friend or the bravest and kindest and wisest human being I have ever had. John, I am a ridiculous man redeemed only by the warmth and constancy of your friendship. But as I am apparently your best friend, I cannot congratulate you on your choice of companion. Actually, now I can. Mary, when I say you deserve this man, it is the highest compliment of which I am capable. John, you have endured war and injury and tragic loss. So sorry again about that last one. So know this, today you sit between the woman you have made your wife and the man you have saved. In short, the two people who love you most in all this world. Um, and I know I speak for Mary as well when I say we will never let you down and we have a lifetime ahead to prove that. You told me once <clears throat> that you weren't a hero. Um, there were times I didn't even think you were human, but let me tell you this, you were the best man. Uh, the most human human being that I've ever known, and no one will ever convince me that you told me a lie. And so, there. <laughs> I was so alone, and I owe you so much. But please, there's just one more thing, mate. One more thing, one more miracle, Sherlock, for me. Don't be dead. Would you do that? Just for me. <laughs> 